Today I want to talk about the different weaknesses on the bench press. Uh, and the first weakness that we see very often is weak off the chest. So one of my favorite exercises to fix that issue is the good old Spado press. Eric Spado was once the record, world record holder for the heaviest raw bench press. Um, so he actually developed this, this movement where you grab the bar, you get set up mainly, you, you grab the bar, you bring it down about an inch or two off your chest, you keep it there for two, three seconds before coming back up. Now doing so will really force you to keep everything tight from your lats to your upper back, your leg drive, your core tension, squeezing the bar in your hands, engaging your triceps and your pecs and your delts, everything has to stay tight. Shoulders back, hold, press. Shoulders back, chest up, yeah. Hold and press. Before you go down, inhale. Fill up that stomach with air. Chest up. There we go. Keep everything tight from your lats to your upper back and press. One more. And press. Rack. Good. Most of the time, we see the weakness off of the chest in the bench press. Uh, people just lack the stability in the, in the bottom of the movement. So doing the spot press forces you to keep the lats, the upper back engaged, the core engaged. It's, it's one of my favorite movements and I, I, I give it very often to my athletes, uh, especially beginners. It's a really great movement to develop stability in the bottom. Another great exercise, a variation exercise, to strengthen the bottom part of the bench, getting the bar off your chest, is pressing from the pins from the bottom part where there's no momentum, there's no going down motion, it's from zero to full press. Make sure you get in proper position, feet back, traps down, lats engaged, upper back nice and tight, chest up, deep breath, and press. Set it down completely, inhale and press. Make sure to keep the shoulder blades back when you push. So we see here with May, when she presses the bar, she has a tendency to get the shoulders off the, off the bench and protract the shoulder blades a little bit. And we want to inhibit that as much as possible. We want to take that out of the equation and doing this specific exercise, pressing from the pins, would allow May to set the bar down and focus on bringing the shoulders back without having the load in her hands, which would make the focus on that much easier. Last but not least, my third favorite exercise to strengthen weakness off the chest is the wide grip bench press. So instead of having a regular grip on the bar, you would bring out your hands about two inches, one to two inches on each side to really focus on that shoulder stretch at the bottom to engage the, the, the pecs a lot more. Get set up. Okay, bring your feet back, heels on the floor. Push yourself down on the rack. Bring your traps closer to your butt. There we go. That's it. So why don't you show the camera where you usually put your hands? Okay, this is your regular bench grip, correct? So now we're gonna go and put your pinky on the ring. So for Mei Lin, this would be a wide grip bench. It's much wider than her, her, uh, her regular grip. Squeeze the bar, crush it in your hands. There we go. Lats nice and tight, shoulders down, chest up. Big air, and come back up. You can actually see she has a little bit, and there's no weight on the bar, she has a little less stability. The bar tends to shake a little bit at the bottom. So I would actually have this uh, in, in Malin's training if I were to uh, prep you for, you know, really bench pressing. Uh, you could actually use this and combine the wide grip bench with a spot press where you take the two second pause at the bottom. So this concludes the, my favorite three exercise variation exercises to strengthen, strengthen the, bottom, uh, the bottom of the bench press if you're weak off the chest.